Character is the result of two things, mental attitude and the way we spend our time. The attitude is very important. Because, your behavior radiates how you feel. Having a positive mental attitude is asking how something can be done rather than saying it can't be done. Good humor is one of the best articles of dress one can wear in society. The greatest discovery of my generation is that man can alter his life simply by altering his attitude of mind. Most of us start out with a positive attitude and a plan to do our best. The reactionary is always willing to take a progressive attitude on any issue that is dead. Happiness is an attitude of mind, born of the simple determination to be happy under all outward circumstances. Take the attitude of a student, never be too big to ask questions, never know too much to learn something new. A positive attitude can really make dreams come true, it did for me. It is in the character of very few men to honor without envy a friend who has prospered. The secret of genius is to carry the spirit of the child into old age, which means never losing your enthusiasm. Ability is what you are capable of doing. Motivation determines what you do. Attitude determines how well you do it. Acting is magical. Change your look and your attitude, and you can be anyone. Morality is simply the attitude we adopt towards people whom we personally dislike. Civilization is a method of living, an attitude of equal respect for all men. It is not the body's posture, but the hurts attitude that counts when we pray. A complainer is like a death eater because there's a suction of negative energy. You can catch a great attitude from great people. Eagles come in all shapes and sizes, but you will recognize them chiefly by their attitudes. You live in the image you have of the world. Every one of us lives in a different world, with different space and different time. Time plays a role in almost every decision. And some decisions define your attitude about time. But the attitude of faith is to let go, and become open to truth, whatever it might turn out to be. The meaning of things lies not in the things themselves, but in our attitude towards them. My attitude is, if someone's going to criticize me, tell me to my face. Wearing the correct dress for any occasion is a matter of good manners. The greatest discovery of my generation is that a human being can alter his life by altering his attitudes. If you are looking for can do, earthy crunchy attitude then you have got to go to Wisconsin. Adopting the right attitude can convert a negative stress into a positive one. It is our attitude at the beginning of a difficult task which, more than anything else, will affect its successful outcome. You cannot tailor-make the situations in life but you can tailor-make the attitudes to fit those situations. When you pray for anyone you tend to modify your personal attitude toward him. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. The remarkable thing is, we have a choice every day regarding the attitude we will embrace for that day. The greatest day in your life and mine is when we take total responsibility for our attitudes. That's the day we truly grow up. But Jesus changes your attitude towards yourself and towards other people. My attitudes have changed, but somebody would have to read all my books to find out how they have. 
I think it's my adventure, my trip, my journey, and I guess my attitude is, let the chips fall where they may. If you get a diagnosis, get on a therapy, keep a good attitude and keep your sense of humor. Vanity can create a very cruel space for you if you don't know how to manage it. I was always the guy getting kicked out of my classes at school for having an attitude problem. With my talent, I can make people laugh and give them another attitude about life. What a blessing that is for me. The greatest discovery of all time is that a person can change his future by merely changing his attitude. Individuals need to be willing to face truth about their attitudes, behaviors, even what we want out of life. I think whether you are having setbacks or not, the role of a leader is to always display a winning attitude. Between stimulus and response, there is a space where we choose our response. Every baseball crowd, like every theater audience, has its own distinctive attitude and atmosphere. I am shocked by the easy attitude of many in the media towards disclosing our nation's secrets. Coaches will eventually notice a great attitude and their 